Okay, so we're just going to do um, a review of yesterday's work and we're going to try to calculate the number of four letter words using the letters of Einstein. So the first step is to put our letters into buckets and that will help us. So we have, let's see, we have two E's. So we took care of the E's. We have two I's. So we took care of the I's. And we have two N's. And then we have one S and one T. So what we want to do is get our cases, do our choosing, do our arranging, then we want to find the product and add them together. So what we do is we're doing four letter words. So we're going to start with the cases that are the most different and work up to what's most the same, basically. And just follow that order so we don't miss anything. That way, um, that way we don't skip a case. So if I notice I have four letter words and I have one, two, three, four, five letters to work with. So since I have five letters to work with, then I can have four different letters, right? So out of the five letters, I need to choose four letters. So that's five choose four. And then, now that I've chosen my letters, let's say I've picked an E, an I, an N, and an S. I have four letters that I have to arrange, so that's four factorial. And when I work that out, five choose four, there's five ways I can pick four of five letters, and there's four factorial ways of arranging them, I get 120. That was case number one. Now, for case number two, I'm just going to slowly edge my way up. So now I know I can have two same, two different, right? So in other words, this is one pair of letters. Now, when I look, I could either have two E's, two I's, or two N's. So there's three pairs I could choose from, and I only want one of them, okay? So let's say I pick two E's, then I need two different letters. Well, I have four different letters to choose from, and I just need two different ones, and now I can arrange them. So I have my pair, which is two letters, and I have my two different letters and I'm going to arrange them and since two are the same I have to divide by what's the same and now I get 216. Okay. okay so the next scenario is two same two same or two pair right this is the same as two pairs right so there's three buckets I can go to to get two pairs. I could pick E-E-I-I -I or E-E-N-N -N or I-I-N-N. -N. So there's three ways I can choose two pairs. So there's three buckets I can go to to get a pair. Three choose two. I only need two pairs. Now it's times four factorial over two factorial, two factorial, and that is equal to 18 for a total of 354. So there are 354, 354 different words. And I just put that in quotation marks. They're not real words because they don't make sense, but they're 354 combinations of four letters. Is there anything I can elaborate on? Okay. Good. Is everybody good with the bucket questions? Okay, good. Is, would anyone like to see another bucket question?
before we move on to today's lesson.